Really damages the approach to the Big Mac Bridge. Traffic is just a nightmare, especially in downtown Cincinnati. Thanks a lot for joining us here at 11 o'clock. I'm Mike Dardis. Good evening to you. I'm Sheree Palello. Governor Mike DeWine declaring a state of emergency to get southbound lanes fixed, but it's likely going to take at least a month. Well, tonight, WLWT News Science Sean McKinnon spent time in traffic for you to see just how bad it is for all of those drivers. He's live tonight in Newport and Sean. How bad was it? It was pretty bad for you, I'll tell you that. But depending on where you live and when you leave work, we're hearing it can take some people one to two hours just to get home. Take a look at the traffic on the Taylor South Gate Bridge. Not bad at all right now, but during rush hour, it can't get much worse. It's bumper to bumper downtown and drivers are seeing nothing but red. It's a hot mess. It really is. It's awful. Horrible. Just horrible. Oh, it's just disaster. A massive fire melting steel beams and leaving the southbound lane in need of major repairs. Now alternate routes are overwhelming drivers. Usually it takes me about 12 minutes to get home and then now it takes me about an hour. We are right by the Big Mac Bridge at Pete Rose Way in Eggleston. Hey, we hear the traffic. It's pretty bad on the way home, so we're going to go ahead and do this commute with you. We take off at 512. Right away, it's stop and go gridlock. As everyone tries to keep cool. This is terrible. Nice. Fix it now, immediately. I guess we'll just have to deal with it. Nothing else we can do. You know, it's out of our control, so. ODOT says they're working as fast and as safely as they can. The goal is to pour concrete tomorrow. It'll have to sit for 72 hours before progress on the towers can even begin. At least 45 minutes probably to get home. It's going to take me half an hour when normally it takes like 15. It's What's normally a 10 minute drive takes us and everyone else a lot longer. OK, arriving in Southgate 625, an hour and 13 minutes after we left. I just feel sorry for anyone who has like really long commutes that have kids that have to be places quick. I was here at Newport on the levee earlier tonight. I talked with one man. He was on his way to go watch the Bengals game. He says he doesn't even own a car specifically, so he doesn't have to deal with traffic like this. We're live in Newport. Sean McKinnon, WLWT News 5. All right, that was some perspective there, Sean. Thank you.